Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another review from Roy's Reviews. Today we're having a me at three juices, and these were sent to me by Comey Valley Vapors at vaporme.uk, and they are Danish by Juice Saws. There's the, the button. The links will be down below um, to vaporme.uk so you can purchase these, and they are eleven ninety nine um, for per bottle. So the first one. Here we go. They're zero milligram, fifty ml short fill bottles, and we have a custard Danish. It's all the cautions and the warnings on the bottle as well. So all the bottles are the same. Um, so I won't take you around all the bottles. We have got cherry Danish, and we have apple Danish. So we're going to get these just up. And today I'm going to be trying them out on the Ogvape V200 with the Wasp Nano on top. There you go, it is a Wasp Nano. And these will be at 63 watts. So we'll get them just up and see. We'll start off with Custard Danish. Okay, it's a smell. The smell I'm getting from it is it's like a custard it's like a custard danish. Um the little pastries you get with the little bit of custard on it. There is that smell coming through on it. Quite strong cinnamon custard cinnamon custard taste on there with the with the bakery coming through on it. So let's get this just up slightly overcooked. Um, but you do get the custardness coming through on there, and there's a very slight touch of a of a cinnamon on the back note. Um, on the way back out again, again it is lovely. It is a smooth, smooth juice. There's no harshness to it at all. I have these nicked up to three milligram, and it's really hard. It's it's quite hard to describe, but it is quite pastry with the the cut the custard there. Now we probably would like the custard to be a little bit thicker um, but, it, but it is a, there is a creaminess to it so the creamy a creamy pastry with a cinnamon um, note attached in there so join me when I come back again because that was the custard I will get re-wicked and re just up again and next we will try the cherry welcome back so we're gonna have a wee squiz at the cherry Danish I'm not the world's biggest cherry fan I couldn't just didn't eat cherries but I like quite like cherry sweets, and that's what I'm getting from it is cherry sweets. Quite a strong cherry on this this time. On the taste there, the there's not much of the the Danish this time coming through. So I'm just gonna drop onto here. Take this really squeeze. Fast up time. <laughs> Um, I'm quite presently, quite presently surprised by this for not being a cherry flavour uh, favourite person and not knowing what a cherry Danish is supposed to taste like so I'm a bit of a disadvantage here but I am getting the cherryness coming through not so much as the Danish one in this it's like a sweet cherry sweet like the, the cherry lips you can buy little gummy cherry lips that that sort of taste is coming through there um, on the inhale and again it's coming back out in the exhale the the Danish note of this is quite lost I think but I think if it would have been it would have been it would have been overpowering if you know what I mean there's a slight and the slight little warmth of the cinnamon as well coming through so the cherry one very surprising um, I didn't actually think I would like that one but I do actually quite like that one and then when we come back, when I come rewick, will be the apple Danish this time. Oh, see you in a minute. Welcome back. So now we're going to we move on to the apple Danish and see what that's like. The smell from it is a quite a sour apple. 
not getting a fresh fresh apple from that at all it is a sourish apple that's on there um, they got baked baked apple again on this one the Danish is sitting really down in behind there's that snap of a cinnamon as an aftertaste in your mouth when you're, when you're tasting that so we're all just up time for a wee speedy up bit again hmm. now that vapes completely differently to how it tastes on the the taste test um, you're getting the, the Danish pastry coming through on that one because it is like biting into the Danish pastry the Danish Danish pastry the, the Danish pastry um, and the apple is there so you can first bite is the you know the pastry you get on it and then you're getting that apple coming through and again on the back out in the exhale there is apple coming through on there it is quite quite a pleasant juice on there um, and again no throat hit very smooth probably just with the taste test as well it's not a sweet apple but you get a bit of the cinnamon and the 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 cooked apple coming through on there they definitely can taste a cook app cooked apple so what would I rate these three custards three custards they're not custards they're danishes just because I happen to look at custards so the first one up was the the custard danish that would be a seven out of ten for me the cherry because it was actually very surprising that would give that a seven and a half out of ten and the Dan the apple Danish, I would give that seven seven and a half out of ten as well. They're actually quite nice three custards. So again, join me on another review. Where I'll be doing the last two. There's five in this range, so I'll be doing the other two um, as a separate two. So if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed the video, and give me a thumbs down. Leave me a wee comment down below to say why. And if you do want to give me a comment as well, all comments are appreciated, even if it's a good comment or a bad comment. Over here, there will be the subscribe button. If you aren't already subscribed, why not? Get subscribed. Up here, there will be another um, review for you, linked link review for you to watch. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may watch this review. Until the next time, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. California dreams about you.